Greetings, pen pals. Recently, I got a request from a viewer to do some more videos of Japanese pens. Um, so I recently got this pilot pen. This is called a pilot uh, tank pen, and it's an, actually an eyedropper filled pen. So I'm going to uh, be able to accomplish two things here. I'm going to be able to review, uh, as requested, another Japanese pen, and I'm going to get a chance, since this is an eyedropper pen, to try out my brand new cool spring-loaded ink syringe that I just recently got as well. So two new acquisitions, as well as satisfying a viewer request. So this is going to be hopefully a quite productive video. Uh, so this is the Pilot tank pen. Um, the official name is the Pilot non-self-filling pen, but it's commonly referred to as the Pilot tank. It's a pen that Pilot makes. I think they make it, I'm, I may, I'm willing to stand corrected on this, but I think they make it for not necessarily the Japanese market. I think they make it for some markets where eyedropper pens are preferable or very popular. I'm thinking in particular in India. So I believe this pen is actually uh, uh, primarily marketed to, to India and, and a few other places, not necessarily in Japan, but I'm, I'm willing to stand corrected on that if anybody has a bit more information. So like I said, it is a eyedropper filled pen. It's a pretty conventionally sized pen. Here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. So you can see size wise, it's right in line with those. It's a fairly thin pen, a fairly light pen, uh, only weighs 11 grams. Can we compare this? to a few other pilot pens, we most certainly can. Okay, so here it is. Here, this is our pilot uh, tank. Um, uh, this is our pilot tank right uh, here. Here it is compared to a Pilot 78G. You can see it's pretty much just about the exact same length of that pen. Here it is compared to a Super 150V, which is a vintage Pilot pen from about uh, 50 to 60 years ago. And uh, it, it's decently shorter than that pen. It's also obviously decently shorter than uh, a Pilot Custom 823, as you could probably imagine. And it's just a tiny bit longer than a Pilot Lucina. In terms of the parts of this pen, we're talking about a pen that's very, very basic. It's got a slip-off uh, cap. The cap itself uh, just is a very basic functional clip. It's a metal cap, metal clip. Uh, clip comes up to a little bit of a clip band that holds the clip on. Very basic clip that just simply has pilot uh, uh, embossed on the clip. It has a nice little finial on the top, a black plastic finial that has Japan embossed on it. That's the only... Um, um, uh, labeling on the pen at all, except for the sticker, obviously. Um, like I said, pull to uncap pen. Um, I personally find this pen uh, short. Uh, I like to post. It's a light pen. No need to not to post it if you um, uh, if you're inclined to do so. The section's nice, uh, nice and long, very long. Like I said, this uh, got a little. This ledge here is a little tiny bit. Uh, uh, sharp, but you got a nice long section, so you really don't have to deal with it. And the section's got this, got this um, ridges here for a grip. Really, really nice. It's obviously slightly on the narrow side because it's a thin, fairly thin pen all around, but pretty, pretty nice uh, indeed. Um, the nib is a pretty nice nib. It seems to me to be the identical nib that's on the 78G. The one I have on the 78G is here in broad. And the one here on the tank is in medium, but it does appear to be the same uh, Pilot nib. Um, it says um, Pilot Super Quality Japan and M for medium. Uh, and it has, uh, as you could expect, an uh, uninspiring uh, plastic uh, feed. Um, so that's the, at least the main parts of the Pilot pen. Now in terms of filling mechanism, like we said, you open it up, and it is a, um, uh, an eyedropper filler. So we're going to fill it, uh, eyedropper fill it from here. Now, what, um, the way this also works, apparently you can remove this plastic piece here. And you can then apparently use pilot converters or cartridges in it if you wanted to, but that would kind of really defeat the purpose of this pen. So I'm obviously not going to do that, but it is an option. It even actually came with a pilot, car one pilot cartridge. Um, so that is the Pilot uh, Tank pen. Um, um, and that is that. Now, like I said earlier, I kind of teased this out earlier. We're also going to try out this cool new 
uh, spring-loaded ink syringe that I just got. Um, it comes in this really nice little tube, um, and um, it uh, is pretty pretty neat. It's got uh, a totally blunt tip, which is obviously nice, less likely to stick yourself. This uh, this this uh, is almost this is kind of like if a normal ink syringe and a Twisby Go. Uh, had a child, they would be this uh, syringe. So it's basically got the exact same spring-loaded mechanism, say on a Twisby Go. What's really nice is this will be really easy to use with a one-handed, which is really um, pretty um, pretty cool. So I'm kind of looking forward to uh, to trying uh, to trying this out, which we're going to get to in a second. Actually, before I do that, I do since this is an eyedropper pen, I do want to put a little silicone grease on the section threads. Um, so we're going to first, we will, uh, we will do, we will do just that, just a, just a, a tiny bit, um, of silicone grease on those section threads. So we don't have any leaks. Not that, not that we would probably have any leaks without it, but better safe than sorry. So let's get right going to inking this up. All right, it's a pilot pen, so I figured why not? We'll use an Orochizuku ink. I'm going to try out uh, this little bottle uh, of Orochizuku Inaho. Inaho apparently means rice ear in uh, in Japanese. So there we go. We're gonna we will try this uh, this Inaho out. So we will open up that. We will open up our pen. And let's draw up some ink with this syringe. So like I said, this should work one-handed quite nicely. Uh, and it does pretty, pretty, pretty easily. So we'll just uh, put that in there and fill her up. Uh, there's a little bit more room there. So we'll just take a little bit more ink up in there and put a little bit more in in there. Actually, there's quite a bit more room, so um, we'll do a whole nother, another filling of this. All right. Uh, See, now I filled it up too much. So we're going to use this to draw some out, which actually works quite nicely as well. So we got to see this putting ink in as well as taking it as well as taking it out. So that worked uh, pretty nicely, I have to say. This uh this syringe uh, is definitely getting the uh definitely getting the job done. We'll just close that up. Um and then what we will do is we will cap this. And I'm just going to let that sit upside down for a couple of minutes because obviously the, the nib and feed were never dipped in the ink. So let the, let the feed get some ink into it. And then we'll be right back and see how this guy writes. Okay, folks, what we're writing with here today is a pilot tank. And this has a medium steel nib and um, this writes this writes well it's definitely smooth um, definitely has some good flow to it etc it's obviously on the fine side for medium but that's what you expect for a Japanese medium Um, but it definitely uh, writes uh, definitely writes well, smooth, very, very nice. If you like the way, say, a 78G writes, you're going to like this because it's definitely the same nib, same feed, and um, all that. Um, and like I said, it is, it is a bit fine, but uh, that's to be expected. Hey, speaking of fine, one thing that would be really, really fine is if all of you folks could please like, comment, share, and subscribe that would be really fine extra fine as they say um, 
But anyway, like I said, nice pen, definitely writes well. Light, it's very light pen. This pen has no heft to it whatsoever. So if you want like a, a light pen, this will be great. If you need a pen that has a bit of a, a bit of a heft to it, you go elsewhere because this pen is super, super light. Again, very much like the writing experience, say on a 78G. I find that it, to me, this is almost like a, a very complimentary pen to the 78G. It's not the same pen. I mean, same nib and feed, clearly. Um, obviously, different, completely different body styling, ca different capping mechanism. Every, everything about that's different. But, um, but. Um, uh, but uh, it is uh, it is a nice uh, pilot pen. If you're a pilot fan in any way, uh, you would definitely be happy with this pen. And obviously the nib is a stiff one. We're not talking about any flex here whatsoever. But uh, again, very, very nice uh, and serviceable. And it is a, a little bit cool, uh, uh, to me at least, to have a pilot pen that's actually designed to be an eyedropper. This is, this is a little bit unusual. In, um, in that respect. So there is that sort of uh, neat factor. Don't forget that it's an eyedropper pen. You'll have it sitting with all your other pilot pens and forget that this is the one that's the eyedropper. And when you open it up, um, you might be in for a surprise. So please remember, if you get one of these, please remember that it is actually an eyedropper filled pen. Um, anyway, that's it for the pilot tank, at least for the moment. Um, let's talk about this ink though for a moment now, shall we? All right, so as we said, this um, ink is a Roshizuku. Ina. Ho. Which uh, apparently means rice ear. Um, and this is kind of a nice, kind of a, um, I, I would classify this as a golden brown. just a nice it's a nice nice shade um i have a couple of colorverse uh inks that this actually reminds me uh of the color of but uh, that i that i recently did uh, some videos on but this is um this is a really really nice color i have not tried this color before this was the first time with this color with this ink and first time um with this pen but i i'm definitely liking this this color uh quite quite a bit um uh, nice, nice. I'm, I'm very pleased. Uh, and obviously it's going to have all the nice behaviors that a lot of Arosha's Yuku inks have. It definitely is flowing well, uh, etc. and so forth. So uh, very, very nice. So that's what this ink looks like on this uh, Rhodia paper. Let's take a quick look at what it looks like on Tomoe River paper. All right, like we said, this ink is Arosha Zuku. Ina Ho and this is on Tomoe River paper. And um, it's it's pretty pretty nice. Nice looking ink. Look good on Rhodia. Looks good uh, on Tomoe River. No complaints there at all. Um, I like it. Thumbs up. There, where's the thumb? There's the thumb. Thumbs up. Anyway, I think that'll just about do it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it because I certainly enjoyed making it. And as always, until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye bye.